The other key to a compelling speech is the right choice of words. Joseph Conrad once said, Give me the right word and the right accent, and I will move the world. How do you choose the right words? Well, when you're writing your speech, always keep in mind the differences between the oral use of words and the written use of word. The major difference is that the written word stands alone. It's by itself there, and when the reader reads it and does not quite understand the meaning, he could pause and ponder it, or he could reread it. The listener does not have that advantage. The oral word must be understood as it is spoken in order for the audience to continue to follow the speaker. Therefore, keep your words simple. Use conversational words. Use short words. Use vivid words that paint pictures in the audience's mind. And they will help you to do the give up and tell speech. You know, people think that they have to use fancy words or long words or complicated words to be really impressive or to be effective. But in fact, some of the most famous phrases from great speakers all use simple words. For example, Patrick Henry, give me liberty or give me death. JFK, ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. Notice how great speakers also repeat key phrases in the word. They do this so to ensure that the listener is understanding what he's saying as he is speaking. In fact, Dr. Martin Luther King uses this quite often. For example, as in his climax of his I Have a Dream speech, he repeated the words freedom over and over because that was the theme. He said, from every mountainside, let freedom ring. And when this happened, when we allow freedom ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will speed up that day when all God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestant and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual. Free at last! Free at last! Thank God Almighty! We are free! At last! Notice the impact these simple words have. They don't have to be complicated to be effective. They just need to be filled with passion of the speaker. So, Julius Caesar once said that the choice of words is the source of eloquence. The next time you get up to give a speech, use simple, passionate words. Talk about things that impact your life. And you too will move the world. Madam Toastmaster.